Edward, please, you are welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Edward. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh -huh. how, how do you feel? Are you at ease or you feel like tense and nervous or stuff? How do you feel? I'm actually at ease, please. Okay, that's very good. Okay, so we are going to have a very short interview with you concerning the learning of Swahili in the University of Ghana. I understand that you are just arrived and level 100 students. And I know that you don't know much, but at least we want to find out how you feel about it. Um, okay, so my very first question is, um, what was the reaction from you or your family when you heard that, or when you find out that you are coming to learn Swahili in the University of Ghana? How did you people take it like? Well, to me, uh, I see it to be normal. Uh, and also, I, I do live with my uncle. Um, he was married to a Tanzanian woman who passed Really? On, so he was like, yeah. Wow. So he was like, uh, so he is a good language and that I should take it serious. Wow. wow, 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 wow. That's very good to hear. Are they living in Ghana here? Yes, he's now in Ghana. He's now in Ghana. Oh, wow. So you'll be learning ahead of us. <laughs> so he understands, but he can't speak. Oh, okay. He understands, okay. but he can't speak. Okay. So when you tell your father, like, Daddy, I'm going to learn Swahili, Mommy, what did they say? Apart from uh, your uncle. Yeah. So they were like, uh, can I do it? And I was like, yes, I can do it. Of course, indeed. My dad was like, <laughs> my dad was just like, um, it's going to bring my GPA. And I was like, no, I'll, I'll, I'll try and I'll try and make sure uh, I get this. That's what I told oh, you. Oh, you get them. Hey, he was thinking that Swahili would drop your DP, GP rather. It was told him that the Swahili is the one that is going to make your GPA shine. Okay. When I just show, do you have any question for him? Um, so, Edward, my question is do you think there are benefits learning Swahili, or if not, why? Or why are why you visiting in Swahili in the first place? Because, you know, some people, when they get Swahili, they tend to rather wait and apply the following year. But aside your uncle inspiring you to do Swahili, do you think you can use Swahili in the near future? Yes, please. Okay. Well, I believe I believe uh, me learning Swahili can get me a job in uh, with probably the AU or the ECOWAS because okay. um, yeah, it, it can get me a job in one of these uh, organizations, probably, yes. So when I, when I saw that, it, it was, uh, I was very happy. Okay, that's very good. I will wish you all the best. And of course, not only a, a U ECOWAS, because it's a language of instruction, and we are probably looking forward to make it the language of Africa, if maybe yeah, in yes. 20 years to come. So it's, you're in the right position. Hold on, and we can pro promise you that the future is promising, OK? Yeah, the future is bright. Um, yeah, very bright, very bright. So Edward, it was good having you with us here. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye. Welcome. Bye. -bye. Bye.